going to show you how to take an HP Elite Book 8540P completely apart. The first step is to take every single screw out of the bottom. All right, so once every screw is loose on the bottom, um, you want to remove the battery and all the plates. But uh, keep in mind that you're going to need both a uh, Phillips head. Uh, what is that? It's called a one, one gauge Phillips head. You're going to need a uh, T7 star bit to take all the screws out of an Elite book. Now you want to remove the battery. And once you remove the battery, there's a couple more screws. I'll go ahead and remove them in a second. You want to remove the CD drive. Remove this plate, take out the memory. I'm disassembling this. I'm going to recycle this whole laptop, taking it completely apart. Uh, I'll show you how to remove the screen. We want to, I guess we forgot to do these two. Those two are in there pretty tight. Once you do that, remove the hard drive. I'm going to destroy that. Um, any more screws you see once you take these plates off, you're going to want to remove like. Uh, we're going to remove this screw, this screw. You want to take every screw you can see out of this laptop. That screw, that screw, and the ones underneath the battery. Once those are done, we'll come back to you. There's, uh, there's a screw here underneath this rubber, and there's one right here. You'll have to remove those hold the LCD in, and then you have a couple underneath the DVD drive that you also have to remove. Once you have uh, every screw loose and removed all the plates off, you want to flip it over. You're going to have a lot of screws flying around. You want to open it up and you want to take the keyboard off. Take it out. Take the memory out. This is the video card. This is what goes out on a lot of these. This particular laptop, we had a broken screen. So that's the video card. And uh, take the Wi Fi card out. Pop the antenna off. There's two screws on it. Some motherboard screw down in here. Pop all your ribbon cables out. This is the cable, I believe, from your LCD. Another ribbon cable. Next, we want to remove the, the LCD. So we're going to take take this plate right here. We're going to pop it up. If I can get under it. There we go. I'm going to pull this off. Now, if we take a screw out of here and this screw and we unplug everything, this LCD should come right out. This one here. I'm 
they put a Phillips head in a clip. That's just a plastic clip. I guess the screws, the real screws right here. They put a Phillips head on that plastic clip. Let's go ahead and take that Phillips head off too. There's one more screw here. So I guess there's three on this side, one on this side. This is your plug here for your LCD. Just want to pull it up. It's it's taped in there. Oh, there's a thing. So once you do that, pull your antenna out. Unplug it. And there's your LCD. Once that's out, you want to remove this right here. We already took the screws out of it a little bit ago. And then you want to remove the processor. You need a flat head, which I can't never find. There we go. That's a good processor. Uh, now we just basically remove every screw we see in the top part of this lap. Once you remove this screw and this screw, this this whole part pops off. Now you remove the rest of the screws on the top and your motherboard should, should separate from this and pull out of here.